Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my stop on the Not Too Shabby Baby Love Hop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the new stamp and die of the month, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can enter to win the giveaway. It is once again time for a new stamp and die of the month from Not Too Shabby. And this month is full of adorable little elephants. The new Tons of Cute stamp set is 4x6 and has lots of cute elephant images as well as coordinating sentiments. I think with the sentiments and the images you could make cute cards for Valentine's Day coming up. If a friend or family member or somebody you know is having a baby, there's cute sentiments and images for that. Or just for a friend. I know that my best friend Danny, who is Danny's Dreams, loves elephants. So I might have to make a thank you card with the thanks a ton image for her. And as always, you can add on the coordinating die set, which cuts out all of the images and the sentiments. I will have a link to the new Stampin' Die in the description box below. And while you're there, you might want to think about signing up for it monthly so you are ensured that you always get a Stampin' Die, because these usually do go pretty quickly. I did mention in the intro that this is part of a hop and giveaway, so I'll tell you more about how to enter the giveaway later on when I am making my card, but I am just one design team member who will be sharing creations today using the stamp and the die. So make sure to click on the hashtag in the title or the description box to see what everybody has created. As I get into the process, not only will I tell you how you can enter into the giveaway, but I will also tell you about any other products or tools that I bring in. As always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I'm going to be doing the stamping. This way the ink has a little bit of extra time to dry while I do some ink blending. I'm going to be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink on a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock, and I chose the two cute little elephants at the bottom for my card. Before I ink the stamp up for the first time, I do rub my fingers over the top to try to get rid of some of those manufacturing oils. This just helps the ink adhere to the stamp, and then as you use the stamps more and more, they will take the ink better. So sometimes when you do a first stamp or use a stamp for the first time, you'll want to stamp it a couple times. I did that, and then I had a nice crisp black image. Next, I'm going to be doing some ink blending. I cut two pieces of white cardstock, one to five by three and three quarters, and one to five and a quarter by four. I made my own mask off screen using my masking tape roll and an oval die that I knew would be just a little bit bigger than my elephants. This way, when I make my little landscape scene, it will be contained within that oval opening. I brought back in the elephant stamp that I used previously and placed that onto the center of the cardstock just to get an idea of when I put my mask on top of it where it should go. Now once the mask was in place you can kind of see through it if you hold it up to the light so I just made sure that it was pretty even or pretty centered on the piece of cardstock. Now because I want to make kind of the grass green and then a blue sky, I'm going to mask off the bottom portion so it looks like the elephants are sitting right on that line. Once I had the horizon line set with the top of the post-it, I brought in my light blue ink and I blended from the line up and out to kind of fill the oval. Now I did make sure as I kept ink blending that I concentrated the most color right there toward where the ground would be. Once I had what I thought was enough blue down, I removed the post-it note, turned around my card, and then I put the post-it note back on that same horizon line, and then used the green ink to ink blend again from the horizon line out to the edge of the oval. And you'll just keep blending until you like the color saturation that you have. And here is the big reveal, which is always my favorite. 
I'm not going to put away the inks just yet because I'm going to do a little more ink blending on that larger piece of cardstock that I cut earlier. This is going to be a mat for the piece that we just made the landscape on. I thought this would be a great way to add a little extra color to the card and kind of separate this piece from the card base. So I'm going to try to keep the grass going up the same amount on the background so it kind of looks even with the grass line that we made. Then when I think I have that high enough, I use the blue and I do the sky. Now you do only have to do the outside edges since the center will be hidden. My image has had enough time to dry, so let's go ahead and get those cute elephants colored. I am going to be using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, and I will list the colors I use in the description box below. Now I do just basic coloring following the light, dark, medium, light that these markers suggest. Now I will let you watch the process, but I did speed it up and I thought now would be a great time to tell you how you can get entered to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. As I mentioned earlier, my video is just one in many for this release hop in giveaway. If you click on the hashtag that's in the title or in the description box, it's going to pull up all of the videos in this hop. What you'll want to do is watch everybody's video and see what they created with the new stamp and die set. Give their video a thumbs up, leave them a comment, and if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see, which I'm pretty sure you will, go ahead and give them a subscribe. It's free, it's quick, it's easy, and I know it will be appreciated. Then when you have hopped to all of the videos, you can come back to my video or any along the way and click on the raffle copter link. You will want to fill out the raffle copter completely and get it submitted by midnight on January 13th. And then the lucky winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby channel. Good luck and happy hopping! Once the image was all colored, I used the coordinating die to cut it out. Now it's time to get the sentiment stamped. I chose the Love You sentiment from the stamp set, and so I know where it should go on the ink blended piece. I brought back in my tiny elephants, and I temporarily tacked them in place with a piece of scotch removable tape. I tried to make it look like the sentiment was sitting on the grass also, and when I had it in place, using that same Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I inked it up and stamped it twice. Off camera, I prepared a card base and put some foam tape on the back of my elephants. Now that all of the pieces are ready, we can get the card put together. I'm going to adhere both of my ink blended layers flat onto the card front, and then the elephants will get popped up so they stand out a little bit from the background and add some dimension to the card. Now I could have stopped here and it would have been a really cute card to send out, but I did decide I wanted to jazz it up just a little bit. To do that, I brought in some glittery enamel dots, some red stickles, and my white Posca pen. Starting with the Posca pen, I added some short white strokes around the outside edge of the image where I thought light might hit it. This helps make it look just a little bit more realistic and gives it more dimension. Then I brought in the enamel dots and I added three around the image. I kept two blue up in the sky area and then added a green one down in the grass. I did make them go just a little bit outside of the ink blended area just for some more motion and interest. And then finally I used the stickles to add some sparkle to the heart. I set this aside to dry and once it was, I added my personalized stamp to the back and I did stamp the same elephant image on the inside. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's quick and easy card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. 
Now don't forget to visit the other artists on the hop by clicking on the hashtag in the title or the description box. Happy hopping, good luck in the giveaway, and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.